the ecumenical movement in this country is headed headlong toward. And I know I can preach it and teach it and scream it and yell it and you'll think I'm crazy, but you mark it down. 20 years down the road, if the Lord tarries his coming, if he does, if it lasts 20 years, you'll be able to look back and you'll say, yeah, that's when the critical time happened. That's when we went through that critical period. Yeah, things happened then, they'll never be the same again. That's right. And they won't. You'll look back and you'll say the 90s was the decade when the church went through the biggest change that it had ever gone through before. And then some of you will look back and you'll say, oh, I would to God that we could have it the way it was before. Oh, if we could just go back to the way it was before. If we could just have what we had before. But what I'm trying to do tonight is to get you to hold on to what you've got now. Amen. So 20 years down the road, you won't have to look back and say, I just wish we had what we had. You don't have to lose it. Amen. You don't have to give it up. Keep that old path. Keep that old music that sings about the blood. Amen. Keep that old preaching that preaches the cross Amen. and salvation and conversion to Amen. the cross. Kick out the McCorvies and anybody else that supports it. Throw them out and keep the truth. And stick with it. Amen. And then hand it to your kids. Amen. Give them something. And then teach them when you do. And we'll have something worthwhile. I can leave this world with peace in my soul, knowing that I've preached the truth to you and taught the truth. Amen. And I intend to do that. And if the Lord carries his coming and I go the way of all the flesh, I hope and pray that my life is a testimony and witness till it's over for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.